if you have accidentally misplaced a pattern and you go to the folder that it originally was in and it's not there because you've moved it it's easy to find it this is I'm doing this in XP I left click on start, uh, start in this right column I left click on search I select all files and folders left click in this box I put in meander I'll click search and it will start to look for that pattern or for that uh, something by that name it will find it every location on the C drive where that's located and there are many places here's a meandering feather by Linda Taylor and if I go on down there's meander one modified uh, it's in the precision stitch DXF there's meander one it's in the precision stitch DXF folder and there's many places and I've, I've noticed that this is all the projects that I have used a meander pattern in down at the bottom I noticed that I have a meandering feather by Wasatch Quilting and I'm going to go and look at that in Creative Studio so now I'm going to exit out of this search box and I'm, I have Creative Studio running I'm just going to bring it up this is the last place that that I got a meandering pattern from this was and if I delete this pattern and if I click on add pattern it's going to take me to the precision stitch patterns precision stitch DXF that was the last folder that I got a meandering pattern from so if I click on this arrow left click on this arrow at the right end of this box click on the left click on the C drive and I just scroll down I'm looking for Wasatch quilting and if I click left click on the Wasatch quilting I double click double click on this April 2012 folder scroll down find the meandering feather here it is meandering feather edge to edge QLI I left click on that it puts it in the preview window here if I select it it puts it in my pattern preview window over on the left side I click done because I'm finished I want to look at this pattern I click on repeat patterns I'm just going to put in a oh 72 with the total width of the quilt 72 total length is 86 and I'm going to click OK over here or I can click back up in this box and it will tell me how many rows it's going to take it takes five repeats eight rows to do this quilt click OK it will put it on the screen have my reference point set the upper left corner this represents the upper left corner now I'm in SAM so that I don't have the crosshair I'm going to zoom in and look at the spacing between rows I think it's a little bit close so what I can do is go down to the spacing go to vertical put in about 0 0.2 0 0.20 and then when I click OK it's going to readjust the patterns zoom in again to look now that's that's that looks good to move that over all I did was press on the scroll wheel and I can get the little hand I can pan back and forth and if I roll the wheel I can zoom in so that looks good so that's how you find something that you misplaced do a search for that word and it will bring up every place that that's possibly located.